Hello, seniors. I'm glad that you are able to view this instructional video in that probes you are interested to learn research. May this video provide you with memorable learning as you go through practical research when. Happy learning! Our lesson today is Nature of Inquiry and Research. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to share research experiences and knowledge and explain the importance of research in daily life. Research is essential knowing that it is used in your daily life. It will enable you for inquiry and research in finding solutions to problems, especially in real-life situations. Sharing your experiences and knowledge on the importance of research develops your skills to think critically and relate it in every decision you do. This lesson covers the following. What is research? Nature of inquiry. Differences between inquiry and research. Purpose of research. And importance of research in our daily life. So, what is research? Research is defined as the scientific investigation of phenomena which includes collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of facts that lies an individual speculation with reality. According to the American sociologist Earl Robert Babby, research is a systematic inquiry to describe, explain, predict, and control the observed phenomenon. It involves inductive and deductive methods. Research is simply a detailed and focused study using scientific methods to understand why something happens and or what are its applications. Solutions to problems must be based on knowledge, not on mere beliefs, guesses, or theories. Research is asking questions and looking for answers for these questions. It is founded on truth and truth alone. In research, a systematic and well-planned procedure is required to meet the need in order that information is acquired and evaluate its accuracy and effectiveness. It is a careful and detailed study into a specific problem concern or issue using the scientific method. It's the adult form of the science fair projects back in elementary school where you try and learn something by performing an experiment. This is best accomplished by turning the issue into a question with the intent of the research to answer the question. The word research was coined from the French word searche which means seek. The prefix re means to repeat. Literally, research is to repeat, looking for something, and research signifies finding the truth again about ideas and problems which were in existence before in different perspectives. Let's have the nature of inquiry. Inquiry is seeking for truth, information, or knowledge. The information and data pursued through questioning begins with gathering by applying the different human senses. We are already engaging ourselves into research when we are looking for and into something, when we are comparing and contrasting things, when we are searching for more information and when we are finding what people think and want. Individuals carry on the process of inquiry from birth till death. Humans are naturally curious about anything and everything. We always ask questions and test theories about ourselves, others, events, environment, and the world around us. We do not stop asking questions. But what is the difference between inquiry and research? Inquiry and research are both seeking for information to have extensive knowledge. While inquiry is an act of asking for information, research is a systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. 
We use research to solve a particular problem. It is a careful study to find new ideas and is divided into two types, qualitative and quantitative. Inquiry, on the other hand, is synonymous with investigation. It is a request of information, an act of asking questions, and a discovery learning. Let's have the purpose of research. A lot of what we do in our daily lives is based on common sense, what we have learned from others or what we have learned through personal experience or observation. But sometimes, common sense is not the best approach and sometimes there are conflicting theories about what is best or what works in a particular situation. Moreover, what works in one situation or for one condition might be ineffective or even dangerous in another, or when combined with other measures. Common sense approaches may overlook the impact of external factors which may contribute to what is observed. The main purposes of research are 1. To inform action. Thus, your study should seek to contextualize its findings within the larger body of research. Research must always be high quality in order to produce knowledge that is applicable outside of the research setting with implications that go beyond the group and that has participated in the research. Number two, to prove or generate a theory. To research is to demonstrate the real-life application of a theory, to test how adequately a theory explains some aspects of life, or to create a theory out of the research data. 3. To augment knowledge in a field or study. Research begins when we want to know something. Research is concerned with increasing our understanding. Research provides us with the information and knowledge needed for problem solving and making decisions. Well, the life people enjoy now are the things that we do in minutes, which earlier looked impossible or all because of the research. Research not limited to any one sector but has been done for almost every sector. Some of them are technology, healthcare, defense, precautionary steps against natural calamities, and many more. So research plays a very important role in our day-to-day -day life. Research directs us to inquire about the right information by conducting further investigation of the actual condition. It leads us to be cautious in giving results and findings by proving lies and supporting the truth. Conducting a research can be tough at times, but it can certainly make you become more of a critical thinker and become more skeptic. Researching can help you to acquire a certain attitude of not believing on anything you see and hear of, but to make clarifications and to further investigate about a specific answer. Research empowers us with knowledge and discovers new things and issues in life. It helps us solve problems in health, crimes, business, technology, and environment. It enhances our critical thinking skills as it helps us to be keen and observant of our surroundings and environment. By identifying problems and mishaps around us, we can formulate plausible solutions to these questions for a more effective living situation. Research facilitates learning as an opportunity to share valuable information to others as a way of recognizing various concerns for public awareness. Let me end this lesson with a quote by one of the greatest American writers of all time, Mark Twain. Supposing is good, but finding out is better. That's the end of our lesson today. It's been my pleasure teaching you one of the amazing topics of Practical Research 1, and I really hope you learned something from this video lesson. Thank you, and may God bless us all. Let's meet again in our next video.